The Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office is hiring three new deputies. Those new hires mark the first time in decades the Sheriff's Office has been fully staffed. As News 18 video journalist Austin Miller explains, the department will be asking for more money next year. When Sheriff Barry Richard took office earlier this year, he had a staff of 138. Beginning June 29th, that number will rise to 150. Sheriff Richard says having a full staff will allow the office to put additional focus on its drug task force and create a new traffic division. It's a very, very big milestone for our department to be at 100%. We want our department to be one where individuals will want to come and be part of this team and, and serve the community at the highest level. Over the years, not having a full staff has kept the sheriff's office well under its staffing budget. By the time the new hires are added to the payroll, they will be nearly $300,000 under their staffing budget. Typically what has been happening, and, and this is common practice, when a department, regardless of which county department it is, has those excess funds in their budget, then obviously there's going to be some line items that need to be reappropriated. Some of those funds could be used to help install more cages and vehicles and provide additional funding for building maintenance and uniform budgets. However, beginning next year, those under budgeted needs will require at least $200,000 in additional funding. Regardless of whether we are full staff or not, those areas are under budgeted for, for the expenses we have that we need to make sure that it's adequately funded and, and the money's there. One of the most glaring needs is their uniform budget. Richard says most law enforcement agencies give officers and deputies a stipend of at least $2,000 each year. Richard says his department only has a $24,000 budget for all of the deputies. To equip and uniform a new officer, it takes in the ballpark of $3,000. And if you take, we're hiring four this year, that's $12,000 right off the top. Richard says he will meet with county commissioners later this year to talk about the 2016 budget and ask for additional funding. It's critical and for 2016 that we right size the budget for the line items that we have because my goal is not to have the overages in personal services because I want to keep that at 100%. In Tippecanoe County, Austin Miller, News 18.